Why, hello there. In this video, I'm gonna do some, um, uh, review. Um, it's like a review, but it's not really a review. I just, uh, just mumble as the video plays along. Okay, so we're gonna talk about the most hated Souls-like game, Lords of the Fallen. As you can see in this video, it's um, it's another Souls-like game, and if you're into that, then stick around and watch the entire video. You may leave your comments about the game so that others will try this awesome game too. Now why am I encouraging the others? I mean like, more people to play this game, that's because it is really a solid fun game. Now if you're new into the Soulsborne games, then Lords of the Fallen is where you should start. Just look at this as your um, your initiation or like stepping stone if you will to other souls like games. The people never like souls like games because they started with dark souls or worse, platform. You know those two are not the games where you should get your first experience at. It should be from this one. Lords of the Fallen. Now I'm sure you have read reviews from hardcore souls like gamers. You know how this game is so cranky. Fine way this, fine way that. The story is bad. The combat is slow. And blah blah blah. Now. I haven't played this game when it first came out in 2014. I've only read it. There were so many bugs and all that. But look, it's 2022. When you play this, so I think they've already fixed the bugs. And any experience now is very subjective. Or most likely coming from an adult. These gamers got high expectations. And if you just want to have fun, then Lords of the Fallen is the kind that you're looking to spend your time with. Now when I say fun, I don't mean unicorns and rainbows and happy stuff like that. The atmosphere on Lords of the Fallen was so dark, and dare I say, really evil. Just think about Diablo 3, but I'm close and all over choking you. It's not gonna give you nightmares, but it's eerie, and this is not a horror game. It's a Souls-like game. Right now we're in a low level, but I got a playlist in the description below. Check that out if this is your first time. The story is a bit of a rehash, but if this is the first Souls-like game you play, then I'm sure you got other things to worry about once you keep playing here. See, adult gamers cares more about this stuff. Like, you know, story this, story that. But as young lads, we just want to hop and slash and loot awesome items. And so... You want me to cut my arm off? Yes. Lords of the Fallen is the game you so seek. I'm telling you this. Once you do your first step in this game, it's gonna be a non-stop action that awaits you. All things be damned. You should play this too in a long weekend and not after school. Now, if you have played Dark Souls, but only discouraged with the difficulty in there, then this is the game for you. Lords of the Fallen.
That is very easy to accrue. You know, once you advance to all this energy plus, this is where the game started gaining traction. That's why it's important to mention that this is your first soul's life. Then you really enjoy the game. But like I said earlier, we started in Dark Souls. Then Dark Souls 2, Dark Souls 3, Bloodborne, and all that. We even played this game called Elden Ring for six months and so on, but we still enjoy this game, this Lords of the Fallen, this very um, subjective. So that is really up to you. Another good thing here is that um, the leveling up is not too grindy. Say like uh, Elden Ring, for example. So one of the bad things I found in this game there are no bows and arrows. Yeah, the game is focusing more on magic skills. Now if you're leveling your character's magic, then you really don't need bows and arrows since there's a strong, yeah, very strong magic skill going on in this game. Now other than this, I mean, the other bad side of Lords of the Fallen that I can think of right now is that you control the camera here. You know, to some, this is a really big issue. Especially if it is swaying too much and you're doing an important boss fight anyway. Speaking of boss fights, if you want an enjoyable boss fight, then once again, Lords of the Fallen is for you. They are not super easy, but, you know, they are also not hard to beat. You could die here, but if you're focused, you can beat the bosses here without Cabin frustrated. You know, all these glowing bad reviews will sway you from trying this one out. But if you don't expect too much, then you'll find yourself enjoying this game back and forth. It's a game that gives you fun without getting tedious just because it's too difficult for difficult to say. Now is it clunky like what most of these elite reviewers said? Well, to be honest, no. I think that was said months after launching the guy. Well, it's 2023 now, so maybe those bugs were already fixed. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe we're just not the peaky type. Okay, so there you have it. That's what we think, or what I think about Lords of the Fool. The disc cost us only $5 Australia. It's not gonna break the bank. And you'll have loads of fun playing this game. And we really enjoyed it. In fact, we were taken by surprise. It's a fun game. I think that in this day and age, you should weigh all these reviews and decide if it's the kind of game worth investing your time or not. So give this one a shot and see where it takes you. We are looking forward to Lords of the Fallen 2. But it was always said here 2023 as the release time. Well, that's not really saying much, is it? Bye for now. See.